Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a quick tutorial on how to control fan speed ramping in Cura, or simply put, the gradual increase of your part cooling fan speed over the first few layers of your 3D print. If you're new to 3D printing and Cura Slicer, this can be a bit confusing. So let's hop in and I'll try to clear up some of that confusion. For our example today, we are going to set this up for printing with PLA at 0.2 millimeter layer heights. Typically with PLA, you want the fan to be off for the first layer or two, then ramp up the speed over the next few layers. This is to help with bed adhesion and prevent warping. When you're in Cura, if it's not already open, click on this tab to open up the print setting. You will see a bunch of drop down menus with all the different categories. The arrow on the right side of each category tab can be clicked on to expand or collapse the settings within. Scroll down until you find the cooling tab and expand it. You will see a list of about a dozen different settings that you can change. If you only see two settings, click on these three bars next to the search window and select All. Then scroll down till you get back to the cooling tab. To make this easier to find, click on the same three bars, then click on Collapse All Categories. Then find the cooling tab and expand it. Ensure that print cooling is enabled and fan speed, regular and maximum, is set to 100%. Set the initial fan speed to 0%. This ensures the fan doesn't run on the first layer. Then the next two options are regular fan speed at height and regular fan speed at layer. This is the height or layer that you tell Cura to target for the regular speed, in our case 100%. If you set the height, it will automatically calculate at which layer that height is. If you want to set it to a specific layer number, you can type that in directly and it will ignore the fan speed at height setting. Note that the ramping is linear between what you set as the initial fan speed and the regular fan speed. Cura calculates this by taking the regular fan speed minus the initial fan speed and divides it by the number of layers between. So if we want the fan speed to be at 100% at a height of 1 mm, you will see that it automatically calculates this to be layer number 6. Although there are only 5 layers per 1 mm of print height, technically the 6th layer starts at 1 mm. Here is a visual example of it to help make sense of this. It is going to print the first layer with a fan speed at 0%. Then it's going to increase the fan speed in 20% increments to reach 100% at 1 mm or the 6th layer. So layer 2, 20%, layer 3, 40, layer 4, 60, and layer 5, 80%. And here we are at the 1 mm mark and we are 5 layers deep. The 6th layer starts at 1 mm. Now the fan will run at 100% for the rest of the print. This is how Cura comes up with the layer numbers as it relates to the part cooling fan speed. How quickly you ramp up the fan speed is going to be dependent on the geometry that you are printing and the filament you are printing with. I find a good rule of thumb for larger flat prints that take up more area of the build plate, I like to have the speed ramp up slower. Give it 1 to 2 millimeters. For smaller items, like this XYZ cube here, you could have the fan take just a few layers to ramp up. I suggest you experiment with these settings to figure out what works best for you and the filament that you're using. And that does it for this tutorial. I hope this helps you better understand how Cura Slicer controls your part cooling fan speed. If you want more tutorials like this one, please leave a comment down below on what you would like me to make a tutorial for. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down and leave a comment on what you didn't like about it. Also, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. And as always, Thanks for watching and happy 3D printing.